Hi there, Chantel here, Crafty Designs by Lee. I'm, I'm entering another challenge over at uh, the Die Cutting Divas, and I wanted to make a video to uh, show how I came up with the idea of what I wanted to do and how I put it together. Uh, this week's challenge is using a, um, a sketch. So, uh, you know, we have a design that we should use as far as the sketch goes, and then you just do whatever you want. So I am going to do something Valentine's related because that is the next uh, holiday coming up. And I'm going to use this paper here from Colorbox. I picked this up at Walmart. It was on clearance for $4, which was really nice. This is actually um, a page kit, and it has um, like some stickers, uh, some cutouts, some punch outs, some really pretty ones, some letters, <clears throat> and a really nice uh, paper in here too. And I noticed as I was going through it to find a page that I wanted to use that it also has um, like the die cuts in the back where you can go and trace out what you want to, there you go, you can see it there, uh, different designs and use that, which is interesting. I didn't know that was in there. So out of this pack, I'm going to use this red paper here with the hearts on it. And I think that is it. Um, if I see if I see something else on here that I want to use, like I may want to use this circle here. But I'm not sure yet. So I'm just going to take all of this and sit it to the side. I am attempting to do a card that will be six six inches long by four inches tall. Okay. Hi, crafty friend. Chantel here. Crafty Designs by Lee. Working on a Valentine's Day card. Um, again, I went ahead and um, started putting things together so that I can kind of condense um, the video and uh, how long, you know, the timing on the video. So, um, you know, I've pre- cut everything and started assembling um, this card I am going to submit to uh, the uh, die cutting divas website they are having a, a uh, challenge a blog challenge so I am going to submit this card to that and see what happens I'll link down um, to their website at the bottom of this video so that you can go there and play along if you'd like to play along. Okay, so this card we had to use a sketch that was given by the Die Cut and Divas a team and so I worked exactly with, with the sketch itself and my card measures about three and a half by seven and a half and um it'll fit inside of uh the long envelope so i did that um i decorated the inside i just need to put one white sheet here for you know writing your sentiment or maybe i'll stamp a sentiment inside there um we'll see i'll just go ahead and cut a piece of paper now and put on the inside little bit of adhesive my ATG gun I need to fill it up so I'm just using some tape that I picked up I don't know maybe Walgreens or somewhere it was like a four pack for like three dollars or three dollars and fifty cents four dollars something like that so I had to pick that up I couldn't leave that in the store so I'm just using one of those because I'm being lazy and don't feel like you know filling up the ATG right this moment so so then you have the mat on the inside to put a sentiment. Um, on the front, I use this Studio G a stamp set that says Some Bunny Loves You. And I cut, this was one whole piece, um, the Some Bunny Loves You, the sentiment. And I cut it in half and I kind of curved it on my, on my um, stamp uh, block. 
and stamped it on the paper and then I used a die cut to cut the circle out and a Fiskars scallop punch to punch out the pink sheet behind it and uh, the bunny I stamped him in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and then I colored him in with my Spectrum Noir markers. One of the things I said for 2013 I wanted to try more of and uh, you know get a little bit better at it is coloring with my markers and um, I had said in a previous video how um, I bought those at a craft show um, over the summer however I don't know if it's me you know the way I'm using them or if I should really just have to because those markers are kind of expensive and see maybe it's just I need to work on that technique so that's what I'm going to do I also stamped the uh, the heart the egg here with the heart in the middle down the side and I'm going to take some silver stickles because my bunny is silver and I'm going to attempt to only get the stickles on the heart. I like stickles. I like stickles a lot. And if I could use them in every project, I would. So we just want to put, I just want to put a little bit of stickles on the heart. Kind of keeping their shape so it really looks like a heart. And I'd also like to put some stickles right in the center of each scallop section here to make that pop out a little bit. Let's just do a little couple dots here and there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that much better. Because I did go around the edges of that paper with um, some Hero Arts uh, pink shadow ink. But it just still seemed like it's too much white coming out the middle. Alright. So there we go. Yeah, I think that came out pretty. I like it. And then the inside. For the sentiment. And there you go. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting. Oh, I forgot to tell you. My bunny is a girl bunny, and I had made this bow to put on her out of some um, some twine, some baker twine. So I'm just going to take this and glue it. Right above where her hair is because she's a girl bunny I'm going to do this without with, uh, trying not to touch where I put my stickers I'm going to hold it down for a minute so you can't see let it dry and then I'll take my scissors cut away the excess and now she has all her pretty little bow <laughs> cute 